Hello there. I wanted to do a quick video on suspended chords. Uh, you'll see them on lots of different charts, you'll hear them in lots of different songs, uh, but obviously if you don't know what they are, it's a little bit confusing. So I thought I'd just uh, let everybody know uh, what that sounds like. Uh, now the key we're going to use today uh, is the key of D. Uh, nice, beautiful guitar key, uh, and it's relatively easy to hear the suspended chords in this key. Uh, now, I've done videos on scales before, and I've done uh, videos uh, on which notes are which and how to make up different sorts of chords, uh, but the suspended chords essentially requires you to have some knowledge of a major scale or of a, a um, standard scale. So we're going to look at D major. So we're starting on the fifth fret on the A string. So that's one octave. Uh, now, when you're looking at suspended chords, when you have a suspended four or a sus four, what you're doing is you are taking the major chord and you're substituting the third note of the scale, which in the case of D major is an F sharp, or the F sharp, and you are changing that from a third to a fourth which in this case, in the key of D major, the eight notes in the major scale for D are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. It's an octave right there. So to make a suspended four, we're going to raise the F sharp one semitone to a G. So instead of having a D with the third at the top, we have a D with the fourth at the top. Hence, suspended four or sus four. And a suspended chord, it always sounds like it wants to go somewhere. It wants to resolve back down to the third, to the F sharp, uh, or you can resolve it and go up to the fifth. sense. And then we're going to look at a sus2. Now using similar logic, we're going to take the F sharp on top of the D major chord and we're going to go down one tone to the second note in the D major scale, which in this case is an E. So we're going from F sharp on top to a D sus2, D suspended 2 with an E at the top. It's the same thing. You can hear that chord wanting to resolve towards either the root note of the chord, the D, or back to the third, the F sharp. So you could go. Now there's loads and loads of songs that use these sus2, sus4 chords. One of the most memorable ones, uh, which I've just done a video on, is uh, Free Fallen by Tom Petty, which is basically that whole riff. Now I'm in the wrong key, but the idea is it goes from major, sus4, major, sus2. And that's the riff for the song. So super effective, super simple but really a very uh, pleasurable listening experience. Uh, hope that helps. If you have any other questions, let me know, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.